the latest in the Object Matrix series of short videos. This video asking, are you a scuba diver or a compressor diver? We're using this as an analogy to explain um, the difference between public, private and hybrid cloud models. In 2011, I watched a program on the BBC, uh, Human Planet, that showed how Arling divers were using a, a compressor on a boat um, for air and all that they have uh, con to connect them to the boat are thin bits of hose pipe. Um, now if you compare that to um, scuba divers, scuba divers get their air from a tank on their back. So comparing compressor versus uh, scuba diving is a little bit like comparing um, private clouds and public cloud infrastructures. Uh, stay with me on this. So compressor diving, uh, very useful if uh, you want to stay down uh, and dive for a very long time uh, with you know, notionally unlimited air uh, and someone else managing the air capacity problem. The issue can be though if the air supply gets cut, well you run out of air, you can no longer work uh, your face starts to turn a bit blue and potentially you die. The scuba diver, of course, has complete freedom and flexibility to roam around, do the things they need to do. But the problem, uh, of course, is that as you do that, the air supply or capacity of air can drop again, potentially leading to uh, you know sort of serious consequences in terms of not being able to do stuff. Uh, either way, they risk dying. What if there were a hybrid model for this uh, scenario whereby you could use your tank to run around and do the things you need to do and then go and top up from the compressor air supply or vice versa you could do a lot of the work you need to do with compressor and then go off and do the small amount of specialist bits of work you need to do with your scuba tank. There really are clear analogies with um, sort of the cloud models available today. So private cloud the um, pros of which are that you can work on high performance, high security and tightly integrated workflows uh, on premises, full 10, 40 giggy workflows from ingest through to distribute and, and sharing content, um, working on those 8K, 4K projects, sharing uh, content within the teams internally and externally. Um, but the issue can be that, you know, some organizations uh, as the amount of data increases with these massive projects, they may actually reach their capacity of on-prem for their solution and then don't have either the CapEx budget nor the actual physical space to grow. So public cloud, the pros of which are plain to see in that you have you know, that elastic uh, capacity uh, for using the cloud storage services when you need it, but also great for global collaboration. So the cons of this, you know, pretty much are the, the bandwidth can be limited to the pipe you have. Egress fees are a big problem in the media industry, especially for, you know, people looking to pull their content back when they need it to monetize it and trust uh, for some. And much like the compressor diver, you know, if a pesky red shark comes and cuts your air supply, you can't work. So if that communication channel goes down to your public cloud, uh, fabric, you can't work anymore. So again, you know, what if they're a hybrid model? And luckily, well, there is a hybrid model uh, and it's a media focused one as well. So the benefit of this solution is that you can do all that great work on premise with a, a matrix or media focused private cloud, um, you know, install multiple petabytes as needed, sitting alongside your uh, production storage. And then, you know, you push that second or third copy up to the cloud or you use it for the elasticity uh, when when needed, when these jobs come in that you just don't have the capacity for online. If you'd like to know more about the hybrid models that Object Matrix are supplying uh, to broadcasters across the world, then please do get in touch. Hybrid at object-matrix.com. Just a quick note, no divers or data were killed during the making of this short film. And that's goodbye for me. If you have any questions, please do get in touch.